Today we're going to be looking at the uh, wireless IP camera P2P. Uh, this is sold to Amazon. This is the BQ Tech Wi Fi Day Night Vision Pan Tilt IP camera. And uh, 720p, it's got PTZ. Well, you, can take, you can put a uh, card in it for recording. Um, and we're going to hook it up to uh, my home surveillance system. So let's open it up and see what's in the box. Uh, so we've got a uh, manual here. Uh, just a pamphlet really and um, a USB uh, charger here a white USB uh, to micro USB uh, for the power for the camera let's see here here we have the camera here's the slot for the card it doesn't come with the card um, it doesn't. It says it's di day or night. It, I, I don't see. Maybe there's some IR between behind these plastic here. Um, and also, this is two-way audio as well. It's got a speaker and a microphone in it. Um, and there's a mounting device, some screws with some wall anchors, and uh, it looks like you got a sticker in here. Oh, this is a. Um, Quality control, um, quality control. So that's what we've got in the um, box. The only other connectors, it's got the um, micro USB. It's got the username and password. Um, there's a reset switch on the top here. There's no Ethernet connectors. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and plug the camera in, and I wanted you guys to see what happens when you plug it in. See if it does an alignment or centers. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, plug this guy in and load the app on. Oh. So it said, uh, welcome to something, please connect. And now it is doing a uh, an alignment function here. It just went from left to right. That goes down and up. Okay. All right. It talks to you. All right. I'm going to work on getting the app installed and uh, then we'll get the camera configured. Okay. So the next thing we'll be doing is downloading the application. It has a QRC code that, um, that you can scan or you can just go to the Play Store and Google Cam360. And we'll go ahead and install that. Now we'll go ahead and open the application. Search device and LAN. Oh, it looks like I just discovered one of my other cams too. Okay, so now the camera is showing up. We're going to connect here and see the camera. Okay, <laughs> microphone's on. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and move the camera left, right, up. Now, when you slide up, it goes down. That's a pretty good picture. Okay, standard definition, high definition. Okay, and so let's see if we can find information on this. Wi Fi settings. Okay, voice language settings, Chinese or English. Other settings, the alias, and you can flip, flip the camera there. Mail settings, user settings. Okay, it shows all the different Wi-Fi points. So, like I said, you could put an SD card. I use Blue Iris as my DVR software and I'm going to do a segment on that sometime 
Uh, it's really good software. It does not come with the camera. Uh, it's free for one camera, or I think you can purchase it for 50 bucks for up to 64 cameras. Right here, I'm just testing the built-in pan, tilt, zoom with the software and the camera. And then I'm going to show you the settings here. Um, a little bit of a challenge to find these settings. Um, this does not support scanning or OBNIF. Um, so you put the IP address in there. Uh, there's the path and I'll leave the path in the details. There's actually four paths. I got those from tech support and uh, you can set the mode or the model there. Also with the audio you just use the uh, IP camera stream audio and enable it. That way you can hear it. By using trial and error I also found out the settings for the PTZ functionality and the settings are here. So now I'm going to show you the web interface. Um, it defaults to Chinese. You can set English here and <clears throat> pick uh, whatever browser you're using. I'm using Chrome in this case. And uh, you can see the PTZ functions working here on the screen. Um, and then there are uh, some other sharpness, brightness control. Now, undocumented, there is a config page. And so if you just go to your browser bar <clears throat> and you type in the IP address and then you put config.htm, you can also get to some of the configurations. Um, most of these configurations you can just set with the app on your telephone. Um, I don't think the manufacturer intended um, for the end users to actually access this page because there's no link to the config page and there's no save. So this would kind of be just for like review. I do want to comment however the um, setting the presets for the patrol mode uh, 1 through 16 I believe it is you can set those through the web interface. I would also like to mention that this camera does not have a optical zoom. Uh, the only zoom it has is the built-in software zoom with the Netcam 360. Finally, I'd like to mention there's a couple other software options that you can download um, when you go to the website for the software. I'm not going to be using any of those um, and I won't be demonstrating them. For setting this device up, I will go ahead and rate it as challenging. You get quite a few features with this camera. You get a 720p camera. Uh, it's got the pan and the tilt capabilities and all, you can get all of that for around 40 bucks. So if you're looking for a, a value camera, this is definitely one to take a look at. Thanks for watching.